Hi, my name is Jose Di Corona, and today I will be talking about my self-directed experience. For my self-directed experience, I chose to get a level 1 certificate in microlearning and structural design. After reading the description of this program, it seemed like a resource that could benefit me in being a successful teacher in the future. One of my goals as a teacher is to be able to bring technology into my classroom that can be used to create fun and engaging lessons for my students. In order to obtain my level 1 certificate in microlearning and structural design, I had to use a website called Nobi. Nobi provided me with the program that allowed me to obtain the certificate free of charge. It is really cool to know that there are websites out there that allow you to grow your knowledge for free. One lesson that I learned was what exactly microlearning and instructional design is and how it can apply to my profession. I learned that microlearning and instructional design is when you create enough relevant content that can be taught to learners in three to five minutes. I also learned how I could apply microlearning and instructional design into my classroom as a teacher. One way that I learned how to do this is by learning by doing. Something I really liked about this program is that as you go through the program, you reach checkpoints every now and then that allow you to create and work on your own session. To further explain, the program was broken down into 19 sessions, and in just about every session you reach a checkpoint that tells you how and what you could add to your session, which is really cool. I really enjoyed doing this because it allowed me to create a session that I could use in the future when I began teaching. I also really enjoyed how this program has you begin your lesson just by brainstorming and then coming up with a title. So it kind of eases you into making your own lesson instead of just making you do it all at once on your own. By the time you get to one of the last sessions of the program, you will have your own lesson already completed and ready to be used. Since I am planning on becoming a history teacher at the high school level, I decided to make my lesson on World War II. I began by brainstorming and coming up with a title and I would add what I felt was necessary to my lesson at each checkpoint. I added videos, images, a word puzzle, and a quiz. There was even more that I could have added to my lesson, but I only added what I felt was necessary in the moment. I will most definitely be using Nobi to create lessons in the future. Another lesson that I learned while obtaining the Level 1 Certificate in Microlearning and Instructional Design is that incorporating gamification into my lessons can make them more engaging and fun for my students. I learned that there are five key principles to keep in mind when incorporating gamification into my lessons. One is the idea of achievement and progress. A second one is the idea of competition. A third one is the element of surprise. A fourth one is the idea of rewards. And the fifth principle is recognition. I will most definitely keep these principles in mind whenever I choose to include gamification into my lessons. I believe that if used correctly, it can be used as a really helpful tool to help your students understand your lessons better. Another lesson I learned is that it is important to create lessons that the students can see on their phones and other mobile devices. I also learned to make sure that the text is legible and the images are big enough to see without squinting. I believe that it is important for teachers to keep in mind that some students may not have understood the lesson when you were teaching it during class time and were too afraid to ask questions. So being able to make the lesson accessible on a mobile device will benefit the student because then they can go back and review the lesson from earlier and try and figure out exactly what it was that they were not understanding. In the future, I plan on using Novi to create many lessons that my future students can use to enhance their learning. Their learning will be enhanced because after going through the program myself, I learned how to create great lessons that are more relevant and engaging that I can apply to my own lessons. For example, like I mentioned earlier, using Nobi, I am able to add images, videos, a word puzzle, quizzes, and other useful resources. Also, using Nobi allows my students to access the lessons on their mobile devices, which is great because my students can review the lessons when they are not in school, since the lessons that I created using Nobi are mobile friendly. I also plan on sharing what I learned with my peers and colleagues because I feel like it will really benefit them. Thank you. And I hope you enjoyed me speaking on my self-directed experience.